Hi guys, um, I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, I am doing good. I've been very busy with school, with work, almost um, almost finishing with the semester. Um, I think one of the new things that I were, I'm, I'm trying to do this month is to get my sisters together to go to one of the concerts, of like Coldplay concerts. He is uh, playing in um, in what's uh, Dallas, so I'm trying to to go. <laughs> so that that's I'm, I'm very excited about that. Um, I hope everybody is doing well um, and having new plans now for summer and and uh, for the end of the semester. Uh, for this uh, composition report, it, I worked on Lou Harrison. I had never heard of him before. And uh, I learned that he was born in Portland, Oregon. But since a very um, early age, he moved. He was like he he moved constantly from uh, on like California on the um, uh, San Francisco area, but uh, uh, with his family. And then when he graduated uh, high school, he moved to San Francisco, like the city. And uh, he started practicing the piano and the violin. And um, he's also sung as a treble, treble soloist. And I, I don't know, I think that that was very interesting. When he graduated in high school, he it was in 1934. And then he moved. Um, during that time, he was very exposed to a very wide diversity of music, uh, such as Cantonese, opera, Native American music, m uh, Mexican music jazz and um, classical music and also indonesian music music which was kind of like a new um top but like a new not topic but a kind of music uh like to to listen to uh here in the united states in 1941 he went to the university of california in, in uh, los angeles to work in uh, the dance department as a dancer and a comp accompanist and there he took classes uh, from Arnold Schoenberg. And um, he became very familiar with his 12-tone uh, technique. I thought that it was uh, an important fact. In 1943, he worked in, he moved to uh, New York and he worked as a music critique for the Herald Tribune. Tribune. And uh, there he met uh, John Cage and worked together from time uh, from some time. And uh, in 1967, Harrison met William Colvin, which um, happened to be one of the most important, or he was a, a very important person uh, in uh, Harrison's life because he they became friends and later on they became uh, partners, and uh, they constructed an American gamelan. This is kind of like the instrument that we see in um in a lot of movies and uh uh people play it and sometimes in orchestras and it's like this um well theirs was uh like constructed with uh, cans and uh alumin aluminiums and uh, in between other materials that were useful to produce this uh like the sound um but it's kind of like the the ones that are like little like uh sticks but tubes and they like constantly like um i don't know if you've ever looked and i think it's kind of like that um in movies or music with uh different i don't know how to explain it like different materials i don't know like uh um uh oh my god like a can and uh they play they like they 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 play the can and then it's a sound and then they play another thing and it's another sound and things like that i'll show you in a little bit and um uh he was also never like stopped composing from uh western instruments and then and this gave him the opportunity to work on some symphonies uh concertos and other things and uh, I noticed it because since I told you that I have never heard him before, I played one of his songs. I'm sorry, I'm going to move the camera really quick. I'm sorry, time is going quick. Um, and this is, oh, sorry about that. This is a concerto for violin with percussion orchestra. And let me show you the, 
what's the gamelan? Let me see if I can find it over here. Scalated. But I think it's really different. And um, I didn't know that he was one of the, the first ones who who were interested in that um in that instrument. But the sound that it makes uh, right here. The sound that it makes it's really pretty. It's really different, you know, because there, you can get like a lot of different high and uh, low notes. It all depends, of course. And uh, I don't know, I really like that. Let me show you. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna just turn it like that. Oh, sorry about that. But it's this is not right here. You see like the different notes and the uh, sounds that that make. So yeah, I think um, that was very interesting. I think he has a very interesting life. Uh, and I really hope that everyone had an amazing week. Um, we're almost over. So yeah, I hope everyone, every, everybody the best. <laughs>